hello guys welcome to another video so i actually asked you guys whether you'd like me to do a girl talk video on twitter so if you don't follow me on twitter make sure you do because i always ask lots of stuff about my videos on there and that's like the most current place to find out about my life even though it's not very interesting but basically yeah i was gonna do a drive with me um answering your guys questions and then i realized that i can't drive and answer questions at the same time like i mean i can talk and drive obviously but i can't sit and look at my phone because that's illegal so i am parked up and i figured that i technically am doing a park with me but i'm gonna call it a drive with me girl talk and we're just gonna sit here for about 10 minutes i'm gonna try and keep this as raw as possible throw back to my raw wednesdays i've got my windows open because otherwise i am gonna melt in the sun um but yeah thank you to those of you who've asked questions i'm gonna keep all of this anonymous in case you guys don't want anything to be said and we're gonna get into it so i'm just gonna read everything i screenshotted a bunch so these won't be in any particular order i'm just gonna go ahead so if you enjoy these kind of chatty videos give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's go so um i have been asked i nearly said the name then it's going well um advice for body confidence and feeling okay with your body i've had the implant and my metabolism isn't what it used to be i've gained weight stretch marks spots a lot just not that confident in myself anymore well i'm gonna have to say i can completely relate with that i definitely gained weight recently i don't think it was down to my implant i think it was just the change in my lifestyle um and i have stretch marks and spots and all that kind of thing the first thing i'd say is go to your doctors and see if there's anything they can give you in terms of your skin although it's really loud although um i know some people are quite hesitant to take any more medication and i know i am like that um in terms of confidence I think it just comes with time and I know that's super frustrating to hear because you're thinking like that is not helping me right now but what I'd say is fake it till you make it for example I just uploaded a bikini try on haul video and I never ever thought I'd do that ever um and I am not the most confident person in the world but after uploading that video it felt a lot better and I feel a lot more confident in who I am um so I feel like me putting that video up kind of was a fake it till I make it moment. I I was like, you know what, I have lumps, bumps, spots and all the rest. Um, so what? So does everyone else. Usually you'll find that it's you that are worried, that is worried about it more than other people. Most other people are too busy worrying about themselves to even care or notice a little insecurity about yourself. So just try and remember that. Um, fake it till you make it. That's my life motto and it seems to be going okay so far. So I don't know give it a go sorry if that's a really crap answer um any kind of guy related advice is much appreciated please tell me you find them confusing too oh my god yes i do um i kind of guy advice i think someone actually asked me about dealing with a breakup so i suppose i can like combine that together yeah breakup advice and if the boy you're seeing is pressuring you into sex so for the sex one don't do it if you don't feel like it's right don't do it and if you you need to tell him like straight up sit down and talk and say look i know you're ready or whatever but i am not i hope you can understand that and if he doesn't give you a solid answer of basically being really understanding then you just need to reevaluate things with him obviously it's quite difficult when you're in that situation because you feel like you want to you want to make them happy as well but your happiness is more important so if you feel like you've been pressured into anything talk to them um if you can't if you feel like you can't talk to them talk to a friend there'll be someone along the lines who has probably been through a similar thing um so if you can talk to them but definitely definitely don't do it if you're not ready um it's just really not worth it and you know it's you should do it for you not for him you should do it because you want to not because you feel like you have to so definitely speak to him about it um if he's a nice guy he will understand and if not then you're gonna have to cross that hurdle when you get there but i'd really reconsider not the relationship just how he feels about you you'd have to sit down and talk to him about it and then go from there um breakup advice is see i've not really gone into detail about my recent breakup um but it was a semi like mutual decision um and things hadn't been great for a while 
so and i think we both knew that we just didn't want to admit it to each other we both wanted to keep trying and not just give up on the relationship straight away so i think secretly we did both know that it was coming to an end for a while so in terms of how i got over it i feel like i already had mentally prepared myself those first two weeks were awful like i literally just cried in bed for like two days solid um and you do you just need to cry like let yourself be emotional and surround yourself with friends who give a shit you know so my friend lucy she actually oh my god there's a spider crawling up my window i'm so glad i closed this window right now <sighs> distractions um but yeah my friend lucy she heard about the breakup and she came round and she like bought pizza from asda and chips and we had a little gossipy girly night and it was lovely um and that's those kind of things really helped to heal me my friend at uni well all my friends at uni were lovely lena <laughs> brought a cake round and we made a breakup cake and we decorated it and we ate it and it was great i definitely indulged myself um and then matty bought me a dairy milk oreo chocolate bar when i arrived at uni so yeah it was just those little touches to know that i had people around me i've never felt more grateful for my group of friends than i did in that like month because it was just i knew they were great anyway but obviously that kind of proved it to me a little bit more so yeah i'd say surround yourself with friends and family um, I stayed in Doncaster for a little bit longer than I probably should have. Um, I think I missed a little bit of uni, but that was what I needed at the time. And I think that's what's most important. So if you are dealing with a breakup, try and do some things for you. Be selfish. Um, don't go to the lesson if you don't want to go to the lesson. And I know that's probably not a good thing for me to be promoting, but sometimes you do need some time off for your like mental and just general well-being. So yeah surround yourself with things you like distract yourself keep yourself busy do lots of work and um yeah i hope you've got people around you who are like my friends and feed you lots of chocolate because that's what i did <laughs> okay next question someone's just walked up to me and that could be open um I have three weeks left until my A-levels. I'm quite honestly freaking out. Just being diagnosed with anxiety but that seems to stress me out more i need an a and a and a b to get to uni that's making me worry any tips on how not to worry on exam day well it's i'm gonna stop because there's a car turning around well it's kind of hard to not worry on exam day because obviously you know how important it is but what i would say is and this is probably another thing that i probably shouldn't say but we're going to treat this as a girl talk sisterly chat you know this is something i'd tell you if you might like brother or sister um basically the unis get pretty desperate for students so <laughs> this is so bad um if you need an a and two b's was that what it was two a's and a b um even if you don't get that exact grade you can try and get into that uni via clearing um and if there's any clearing spaces left they're usually really really lenient on the grades anyway because generally at that point all they want is another student and another nine thousand pounds to put in their bank accounts so definitely still try hard obviously um try and not to revise the night before the exam or the morning of the exam that's something i used to do i used to hate it when people were sat in the hall cramming very last minute because then you'd panic and think oh my god i don't know that um so i used to just stop revising the night before and then not do anything until i sat in that exam and that seemed to help me quite a lot i always used to hold on to the feeling of how it felt when i walked out of the exams i used to love that feeling when you like walked out and you just felt so free i used to think about that that used to motivate me um but yeah don't stress too much about the grades i i was kind of chill about my a-levels because i wasn't going to go to uni in my head so i just didn't i cared because i'm an, a workaholic i'm a nerd so i did care but i could have cared more so i ended up getting an a b and a c and i believe the course that i actually did needed an a and two b's so technically i didn't have the grades for it but because at that point i went into the course through clearing they said yes anyway um so try not to worry too much even if you don't get into the uni you've set your hopes and dreams on there might be another one out there that kind of just comes around on results day and you think oh maybe i could give that a go because i know some of my friends did that and it's turned out to be their best decision ever and they've never moved back to the hometown so yeah don't overthink it too much hopefully that answers your question 
Ah, I feel like that was a really long answer. Um, do you keep do you miss secondary school in any way and do you miss any friends you have grown apart from? I miss do I miss secondary school? No, I don't think I do. Um I miss being able to see friends every day without having to arrange anything. But I'd say the friendships that I had in secondary school weren't anywhere near as strong as the kind of friendships you get when you're an adult. So I don't really miss those friendships. I just miss the convenience of having your friends around, you know. And that kind of happened at uni as well. We knew we were going to see each other every week. So we kind of took that for granted at the time. And now I'm going to miss it. Do I miss any of the friends I had at school? Um, a couple. And I know, to be honest, I still consider the people that I'm not always in contact with friends. I, even though we're not talking all the time or I've not messaged them for even over a year, I still like to consider that we have a really solid friendship and a solid relationship. So hopefully they do as well. Otherwise they'll think I've just pied them off. But I think when you turn into an adult, everyone understands that you all live a different life and I mean, all my friends now live in different cities apart from one. So it's kind of, I do miss the friendship, but I understand and I still feel connected to them via social media and just, I don't know, I feel like there'll always be a connection there. And those friendships that were solid and were like healthy friendships, I kind of just value anyway, whether I see them or not. So I don't think I miss them. I just kind of accept that things change and people coming in and out of my life all the time is just gonna happen so I kind of accept that oh my god it's getting so warm in this car okay I'm, I'm getting naked not actually naked but you know I'm wearing a dress that I've not worn before um and it's got like a neckline like this and I used to hate necklines like this because it made me look like I had big shoulders I don't know I feel like it looks okay we'll see I would not go out of the car without a top on though um next question oh okay this one's interesting so someone's asked my guy friend of four years has confessed to liking me but i have been with my boyfriend for three years we're all in the same friendship group i feel so awkward any advice you have would be amazing thank you ps i love your videos thank you um any advice so it's gonna be awkward that's inevitable um i'd say tell your boyfriend and tell the guy who likes you that you love him to bits as a friend but that's just not how you see things there might be a couple of awkward encounters when you all hang out together and it's just a bit weird but then eventually you guys will get over it so i think you just need to be open and honest with everyone everyone so tell your boyfriend what's been said like reassure your boyfriend that that's not what you want um you just consider this guy as a friend say the same thing to the guy and then encourage the friendship group to still hang out those first few times you hang out are going to be weird i've been in that kind of situation before when you've kind of pied someone off because you didn't think of them in that way then it's really awkward but um you'll get over it he'll get over it and they'll always be i don't know just just make it a friendship and try not to overthink it too much i think it's important to just value that guy liking you as just make him a, make him your new best friend you know was that a really bad thing to say i don't know oh okay this one kind of links back with the other one i want to know your views on when it's right to end a relationship with someone you really really love but you feel you have to end it so i've obviously been through this as i have just mentioned um and i think you kind of just know and um if you are already thinking about ending it then there's a sign that it probably should be ended so i'd air that with your partner and just say look i've been thinking about this this is no way in any way at all me breaking up with you but look i am thinking about it should we work on it or do you feel the same um and then just kind of go from there to be honest i think it's good to put a little bit more time into it just so you're both completely sure and you don't end up with any regrets because that's obviously what I did but yeah just air your concerns and it should all just pan out as it kind of I don't know it should all it all just kind of works out in the end so definitely just air it talk about how you feel um and do it for you so if you're not 100% happy and you've already tried to sort that out with your partner then just think again like am i truly happy is this the best thing for the two of us and if you love each other you should both understand that the best thing for you to do 
is to break up um and that's what situation i was in i think the best thing for both of us was to break up and that's just not the best thing not the thing that we were wanting obviously we thought that was it we thought everything was fine and dandy and that was us but times change things change and that wasn't what we both needed in life so yeah that's that's uh, that's, that's all i have to say and oh my god i'm sweating right now um okay so i'm nearly 15 and i've still never kissed anyone any advice what age were you when you had yours so mine's a funny story so my i think i pecked a boy like at the age of maybe 14 really awkwardly after a date in the park um but i didn't like properly kiss we just kind of literally like i gave him a peck on the lips and like freaked out and ran off um my actual proper first like tongues making out kiss was this is so weird why am i saying this on my youtube channel all my friends know this um was actually at my then best friend's 16th birthday party so she was a twin um they had a 16th birthday party we played spin the bottle and i kissed her twin sister so technically my first proper kiss was with a girl um i think i then i don't know we were getting drunk on wkds don't advise it but you know it was funny um i think i kissed a few boys in that party as well so yeah my first proper kiss was when i was drunk at the age of 16 then my first sober kiss with a like proper partner was when i was 16 but like almost 17 and that was like in a relationship and it was hella awkward we were both as awkward as each other um but yeah don't worry about it too much because the first kiss with anyone whether you've done it a million times before or not is always always awkward so just roll with it just laugh it off um if they like you enough no matter how good or bad it is they'll kiss you again so yeah don't overthink it too much don't rush into it just you know don't don't get drunk and do it and spin the bottle <laughs> don't follow my advice okay i think i had a few more oh no i think we're done so i think that is actually it for this video and this one has been super long i've just noticed how long the timer says so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you'd like me to do like a girl talk part two because i've really enjoyed just having a chat you know like heart to heart chilled all that kind of stuff let me know if you did enjoy it give this video a thumbs up don't forget to turn my notifications on because youtube is being weird and yeah i'll see you on friday for what is going to be a Primark haul because I am about to go and buy the clothes right now. So pray for my bank account and I'll see you on Friday. Bye. I am sweating. Okay, let's go buy some clothes.